Do you truly believe happiness is in your hands? It may sound contradictory, but ancient Stoic philosophers uncovered a secret that challenges our modern logic. In a few minutes, I'll unveil why true strength comes from our ability to embrace impermanence, simplicity, and resilience. What if I told you that emotions can be a choice, not a destiny? Brace yourself for an enlightening journey that will shift your worldview and unlock a surprising path to personal transformation. Stay with us and discover how ancient wisdom can be the key to a more fulfilling and meaningful life. Starting right now. Number one, acceptance of impermanence. Seneca, one of the great masters of Stoicism, teaches us a profound lesson with his words. Nothing is ours except time. This statement takes us to the heart of accepting impermanence. Understanding the transitory nature of all things is essential in the Stoic journey. Everything around us, from joys to sorrows, from our possessions to our relationships, is ephemeral. This awareness should not lead us to despair, but rather, it should be a source of liberation and an invitation to action. Accepting impermanence is not synonymous with resignation. On the contrary, it is a call to live more consciously and deliberately. By recognizing that each moment is temporary, we are encouraged to value the present, to fully live every second. It's not about giving up in the face of the inevitability of change, but about embracing the fluidity of life, finding peace in transitoriness, and seeking meaning in what is lasting, our actions, our values, and our inner growth. Therefore, in contemplating impermanence, we are guided to a life of greater presence and purpose. We do not cling desperately to what is destined to change, but find freedom in acceptance. This allows us to act with greater authenticity and courage, knowing that although we cannot control everything around us, we have the power to control our own actions and attitudes in the face of the waves of change. In summary, the acceptance of impermanence is a powerful stoic tool for personal reinvention. It teaches us to live with a sharper awareness of the present moment, to value the time we have, and to act with intention and wisdom. It's a reminder that, although nothing is permanent, each moment offers a unique opportunity to live according to our highest values and make a positive mark on the world. Number two, emotional self-sufficiency. The wisdom of Epictetus, one of the most influential Stoic philosophers, deeply resonates in the concept of emotional self-sufficiency. His assertion, we are not disturbed by things, but by the views we have of them, is a cornerstone in building a resilient Stoic spirit. This principle teaches us that emotions, in their essence, are internal reactions shaped by our perception and judgments of external events rather than the events themselves. Emotional self-sufficiency is therefore the ability to understand and manage these emotions. Far from being a sign of insensitivity or indifference, it is a testament to inner strength. It acknowledges that although we cannot control external events, we have complete mastery over how we interpret and react to them. This is the essence of emotional freedom. The ability to find serenity, not by the absence of problems, but by the way we choose to face them. Developing emotional self-sufficiency involves a constant exercise in introspection and self-awareness. It is a process of questioning our automatic reactions and learning to respond in a more deliberate and rational manner. This does not mean suppressing or denying emotions, but rather understanding them, accepting them, and then guiding them productively. By practicing emotional self-sufficiency, we adopt a stance of balance and control in the face of adversity. We become more adaptable, capable of facing challenges with clarity and determination. This skill is essential not only for personal well-being, but also for establishing healthier and more constructive relationships with others. 
Thus, emotional self-sufficiency is a path to true freedom. By taking control of our emotions, we open the doors to a life of greater inner peace, wisdom, and resilience. Epictetus shows us that the power to shape our life experience ultimately lies in our hands. By practicing and cultivating this self-sufficiency, we reinvent ourselves as stronger, more balanced, and conscious individuals. A reminder, if you find value in our content, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe, as this helps our channel reach many more people. Thank you. Number three, virtue as the supreme good. At the heart of Stoicism lies the unwavering belief that virtue is the only true good, a beacon that lights the way even in the darkest storms of life. For the Stoics, virtue transcends material wealth, social status, or fleeting pleasures. It is the relentless pursuit of acting with honor, justice, and integrity, regardless of external circumstances. Stoic virtue is not a mere abstraction, it is a living practice, a daily commitment to moral excellence. It manifests in every choice we make, in every action we undertake. To act virtuously means to do what is right, not because it will bring rewards or avoid punishments, but because it is the core of a well-lived life. In this context, virtue is more than a moral ideal. It is a pathway to true freedom. By clinging to virtue, we free ourselves from the chains of disordered desires and irrational emotions. We find solidity in ourselves, rather than depending on the opinions or actions of others. Like a lighthouse in the darkness, virtue guides us, keeps us steady and focused, even when the waves of adversity threaten to sway us off course. The practice of virtue implies authenticity and personal responsibility. It requires courage to face one's own flaws and strength to continually improve oneself. Each moment becomes an opportunity to act according to the highest standards of character. And in each virtuous decision, we strengthen our character, shape our destiny, and positively influence the world around us. Thus, for the Stoics, Virtue is more than a good. It is the essence of a meaningful and fulfilled life. By cultivating it, we reinvent ourselves as more complete and accomplished human beings. Virtue is not just the path to happiness. It is happiness itself, an authentic expression of our highest self. Number four, daily reflection. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, offers us timeless advice. The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This stoic maxim underscores the fundamental importance of daily reflection as a path to self-improvement and personal fulfillment. In the hustle and bustle of everyday life, it's easy to be swept away by a current of automatic thoughts and impulsive reactions. However, the practice of daily reflection invites us to pause, to observe, and to assess the course of our lives with an introspective and critical eye. Setting aside time each day to contemplate our actions, thoughts and emotions is more than an exercise in self-awareness. It's an act of self-transformation. Through reflection, we become more aware of our habitual patterns, our strengths and weaknesses, our virtues and vices. This practice allows us to question our beliefs and values, examine the validity of our justifications, and align our actions with our highest principles. Daily reflection is also an antidote to impulsiveness and negligence. It helps us cultivate serenity, to respond to situations with balance and wisdom, rather than reacting instinctively or emotionally, like a mirror revealing both beauty and imperfections, this practice shows us who we really are and who we can become. Moreover, daily reflection is a powerful tool for personal growth. It encourages humility and openness to learn from mistakes, as well as gratitude and appreciation for life's blessings. With regular practice, we begin to notice significant changes in our perspective and behavior, 
leading us to a more fulfilling and happy life. Therefore, daily reflection is not just a stoic habit. It's a path to a richer and more meaningful life. By heeding the advice of Marcus Aurelius and dedicating time to conscious reflection, we not only improve the quality of our thoughts, but also enrich the quality of our lives. It's an invitation to live more deliberately, consciously, and virtuously. Number five, control over reactions. One of the most powerful principles of Stoicism is the understanding that, although external events are beyond our control, we have total mastery over how we choose to react to them. This premise is fundamental in developing unshakable inner strength and a serenity that remains undisturbed in the face of life's vicissitudes. The ability to control our reactions is a habit cultivated with practice and dedication. When faced with adverse situations, the natural tendency may be to respond with frustration, anger or despair. However, Stoicism teaches us to pause, take a deep breath and assess the situation with objectivity and calmness. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions or being indifferent, but rather learning not to be dominated by impulsive reactions. Calming the mind and responding in a balanced and rational manner to unexpected events is an exercise in wisdom and self-mastery. By practicing control over reactions, we become less susceptible to external turbulences and more anchored in our own inner strength. This allows us to make more considered decisions, act in accordance with our values, and maintain inner peace even amidst chaos. Moreover, control over reactions has a profound effect on our well-being and interpersonal relationships. When we respond to situations with calmness and discernment, we establish an environment of respect and understanding, both for ourselves and for others. We become examples of stability and trust, positively influencing those around us. Therefore, Control over reactions is more than a stoic habit. It is an essential tool for navigating the complexities of life. Cultivating it is working towards a more balanced, conscious and harmonious existence. By exercising this control, we reinvent ourselves as more resilient, wise and serene human beings, capable of facing any challenge with grace and inner strength. Number six, focus on effort, not outcome. The wisdom of Epictetus brings us a transformative perspective. Do not seek for things to happen the way you want them to. Rather, wish that what happens happen the way it happens and you will flow well. This stoic teaching emphasizes the importance of concentrating our energies on effort and dedication rather than obsessively fixating on outcomes. In our life journey, we often encounter the unpredictability of events. As much as we plan and aspire, the final outcome often escapes our control. This reality can be a source of great frustration and anxiety if our satisfaction depends solely on achieved results. Stoicism, on the other hand, encourages us to redefine our perception of success and failure, focusing on what truly is in our reach, our effort, and our attitude. The real power, according to this philosophy, lies in the quality and intensity of the effort we apply to our actions. This involves doing our best in every task, regardless of guarantees of success or recognition. By focusing on the process, hard work and persistence, we cultivate a sense of purpose and satisfaction that is not shaken by the whims of fate. This stoic habit of focusing on the effort and not the outcome is a path to inner freedom. It liberates us from the anguish of uncertainty and the fear of failure. When we accept that the final result may not always be as we wish, but give our best regardless, we achieve a state of serenity and contentment. Moreover, by valuing the effort itself, we are constantly learning, growing and improving. 
Each step on the journey becomes valuable, each challenge an opportunity to strengthen our character and skills. Therefore, focusing on effort and not on the outcome is adopting a stoic view of life that values conscious and meaningful action above the uncertain fruits of the future. Epictetus reminds us that by embracing events as they occur, we flow with life, not against it. In this flowing, we find not just peace, but also the true power to transform ourselves and the world around us. If you're enjoying this, don't miss out on the opportunity. Purchase the ebook now, Stoicism in the 21st Century, Ancient Strategies for Modern Challenges, and unlock your prosperity, abundance, and improve your relationships with this ebook. Link in the pinned comment. Number 7. Empathy and Universal Understanding. Stoicism, at its core, embraces the concept of universal brotherhood, an acknowledgement of the intrinsic connection we share with all human beings. This philosophy encourages us to cultivate empathy and universal understanding, seeing beyond individual barriers and recognizing the common humanity that binds us together. In the Stoic context, empathy is much more than a mere ability to feel what another feels. It is a deep understanding that despite our individual experiences being unique, the emotions and challenges we face are universal. By practicing empathy, we open ourselves to truly understand others, not just with the mind, but with the heart. This involves listening attentively, putting ourselves in someone else's shoes, and approaching each person with an attitude of compassion and respect. Moreover, stoic universal understanding leads us to recognize that each individual is part of a larger whole. We are all inhabitants of a single world, members of a single human community. This perspective helps us transcend prejudices and superficial judgments, encouraging the search for common ground and harmony. By developing empathy and universal understanding, we become more open, tolerant and peaceful. These qualities are essential for building healthy relationships and more just and equitable societies. Empathy is the key to true human connection, while universal understanding paves the way for peaceful coexistence and collaboration. Therefore, the practice of empathy and universal understanding is a central element of Stoicism reflecting its vision of a world unified by understanding and mutual care. By embracing these principles, we not only enrich our personal lives, but also contribute to creating a more compassionate and understanding world. It's a reminder that despite our differences, we share a common destiny and are responsible for each other. Number eight, resilience in the face of adversity, at the heart of Stoicism lies a profound insight into the nature of adversity. Seneca, one of the most celebrated Stoic philosophers, articulated this view clearly. Difficulty strengthens the mind as labor does the body. This maxim reflects the Stoic belief that adversities are not mere obstacles to be avoided, but valuable opportunities for growth and personal strengthening. Therefore, Resilience in the face of adversity is one of the central pillars of Stoicism. Facing life's challenges with courage and determination is not just a matter of survival, but an opportunity to develop inner strength, wisdom and character. Stoics understand that while we cannot control external events, we have total mastery over how we choose to face them. This perspective transforms how we confront difficulties. Instead of seeing them as misfortunes or injustices, we approach them as lessons, as forges that shape our resilience and determination. Each challenge becomes an invitation to practice virtues such as patience, perseverance, and courage. Moreover, resilience in the face of adversity is not a solitary exercise. It teaches us to seek support in others and to offer support in return, strengthening bonds of solidarity and compassion. 
in facing adversities. We learn not only about our own capabilities, but also about the value of community and mutual support. The stoic practice of resilience encourages us to face adversities with an attitude of acceptance and learning. Instead of asking, why is this happening to me? We ask, what can this teach me? This shift in perspective is powerful and transformative. Therefore, resilience in the face of adversity, according to Stoicism, is a way of embracing life in all its complexity. It is to recognize that, just as steel is tempered in fire, our strength and character are forged in the flames of the challenges we face. By adopting this approach, we do not just survive the storms of life, but emerge from them stronger, wiser, and more prepared for whatever the future holds. Number nine, simplicity of life. At the core of Stoic philosophy lies the valorization of simplicity. An uncomplicated life focused on the essential is seen not just as a path to tranquility, but as a means of liberation for the mind and spirit. By shedding the superfluous, that which is unnecessary and often a burden, we make room for what truly matters. Our values, our relationships, our personal growth, and our contribution to the world. The simplicity of life advocated by Stoicism goes beyond mere reduction of material possessions. It's a state of mind, a deliberate approach to life that seeks to eliminate excess and unnecessary complexity in all its forms. This includes simplifying our routines, our decisions, and even our thoughts and emotions. By reducing external and internal noise, we gain clarity, focus, and serenity. This pursuit of simplicity is not an end in itself, but a means to achieve a fuller and more meaningful life. When we stop being distracted by what is secondary, we can focus on what truly brings us satisfaction and purpose. This might mean dedicating more time and energy to personal relationships, engaging in activities that nourish the soul, or contributing positively to the community. Moreover, the simplicity of life is an antidote to the materialism and rampant consumerism that often characterize modern society. By being content with less, we find a source of contentment and gratitude that does not depend on external circumstances. We discover that true wealth lies in the quality of our experiences and relationships, not in the quantity of our possessions. Therefore, the simplicity of life, according to the Stoic view, is a conscious choice for a less complicated, more authentic existence that is more aligned with our deepest values. By adopting this lifestyle, we not only free our mind and spirit, but also open ourselves to a richer, more focused, and ultimately more satisfying life experience. Number 10, appreciation of nature and the universe. Stoic philosophy encourages a profound respect and admiration for nature and the vast cosmos that surrounds us. This appreciation is not just a recognition of the beauty and mystery that envelop the natural world and the universe, but also a reminder of our own smallness in the grand scheme of things. Contemplating nature and the cosmos invites reflection on our position in the universe promoting a humble and awed perspective on life. This practice of appreciating nature and the universe serves several purposes within Stoic thought. Firstly, it is an exercise in humility. By acknowledging the vastness of the cosmos and the complexity of nature, we are reminded that we are just a small part of something much larger. This perception helps us keep our problems and concerns in perspective, reducing the tendency to overestimate the importance of our personal difficulties. Moreover, the contemplation of nature and the universe is a source of wonder and inspiration. The complexity and beauty of the natural world can be sources of great joy and wonder, nourishing our soul and uplifting our spirit. 
This appreciation leads us to a greater connection with the world around us and encourages us to live more consciously and harmoniously with the environment. The stoic appreciation of nature and the universe also reminds us of the natural order of things, of which we are a part. This awareness can help us accept the changes and cycles of life with more serenity and to understand our role as responsible caretakers of the world we inhabit. Therefore, the practice of appreciating nature and the universe is a powerful way to cultivate gratitude, humility, and admiration for life. It is an invitation to slow down, observe and reflect, recognizing both our insignificance and our intrinsic connection to everything that exists. This appreciation not only enriches our life experience, but also inspires us to live more fully, consciously and respectfully with the world around us. Number 11. Discipline of Perception The discipline of perception is an essential stoic habit that involves conscious and deliberate training in how we interpret and understand the world around us. Inspired by Epictetus' powerful idea, it is not things that disturb us, but our interpretation of them. This practice focuses on re-evaluating and reframing our habitual perceptions. It challenges us to look beyond superficial appearances and to perceive reality in a deeper and more meaningful way. By adopting the discipline of perception, we learn to see situations not as intrinsically good or bad, but as valuable opportunities to exercise and reinforce our virtues. This shift in perspective transforms our experience of life. Challenges, instead of being frustrating obstacles, become chances to demonstrate courage, patience, resilience, and wisdom. Adversities stop being sources of discouragement and become means to strengthen our character and grow in understanding. This stoic habit not only teaches us to approach difficulties with a more constructive mindset, but also to find meaning and learning in every experience, no matter how trivial or challenging it may be. Instead of automatically reacting with frustration or dismay to setbacks, we are encouraged to pause, reflect, and choose a response that aligns with our highest values. The discipline of perception, therefore, is a path to greater emotional and intellectual freedom. By becoming masters of our perceptions, we gain control over our internal experience, freeing ourselves from automatic reactions and unnecessary negative emotions. This practice allows us to live more fully and consciously, making room for a more serene, balanced and gratifying existence. In summary, the discipline of perception is an invitation to see the world, not just with our eyes, but with wisdom. It's a call to transform our experience of reality, embracing each moment as an opportunity to cultivate virtue, gain wisdom, and strengthen our character. By adopting this stoic habit, we open ourselves to a life of greater clarity, purpose, and fulfillment. As we conclude our journey today, Remember, what you've learned here is just the beginning. To delve even deeper into this path of wisdom and transformation, subscribe to the channel and activate notifications. Each video is a new chance to grow. Share your experience in the comments, leave your like and share this video. Your action might be the spark that lights someone else's path. Join us in the continuous pursuit of a richer and more meaningful life. Your next great insight could be in our next video. Until then, continue your path of growth and self-discovery. You are not alone in this journey.